We are staying at Poder Alberici, and this is the view from our room. It is just gorgeous. Yeah. rooms that we have we're staying in the main building so we get a breakfast in the mornings uh, they do have apartments on site that don't get the breakfast literally vines right there up oh, there picking vines picking grapes right now these are very small grapes see yeah. how tiny they are yeah ciao, ciao. Directly beside them are olives. That in about two weeks they'll do the olives. And this is where we have breakfast in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. The breakfast place. Oh, what are these? This is a fig. Oh, that's a fig. Oh, yeah, this is a fig tree. Yeah. I wonder if you're allowed to pick the figs. <laughs> Look at that. It's perfectly ripe. It's nice and soft. I don't know what these are. Is this a... I don't see where you see right a fruit. Oh, it's some it's type a of nut. nut. Some kind of nut. Boy, they got just a little bit of everything on here, don't they? Figs and we'll look at all of them up there. You can see all those figs. I, mean. I wonder if I'm allowed to have one. <laughs> There's the pool, but I don't know how much we're going to get into it. It's a little bit chilly. Not chilly, but. I'm oh guessing. my lord! <laughs> That's cold. Cold? Yeah. Oh, what are these? Pomegranates? Yeah. I think that's what they are, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you, you are in the story of this place. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, the family uh, that bought the property, they bought this property in 1995. Okay. Oh, it's a very, very old place. It's from the end of the 16th century. The Podere, the farmhouse. And, uh, <laughs> so they took 10 years to yeah. fix everything, to make everything like now. Right. Yeah. And all this farmhouse and the other small village that is in front of us, together there are Casa Bianca village, that means White House. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, oh, it's okay. this is for the stone. And by the stone is also very, how do you say in English, very friable. Uh, that can make yeah. a lot of uh, dust. Yes, yeah. oh. and it is a good thing because the soil is full of this dust. It's full of mineral, right. uh, and this is good for the olive trees, for the vineyard, and everything. 
The last um, the vineyards are 45 years old now, more or less, and the olive trees. Move. Some are younger, some are older, uh, and there are 1,000 trees. That is not so much for a produ production, but for us, it's enough. <laughs> it seems like a lot. Yeah, yeah, it seems like a lot, but you know, uh, we, we we produce olive oil, but we cannot arrive till the next production. We always finish the olive oil before. Uh, we use it for us, for the breakfast, for the tasting, and also to sell to mm -hmm. a guest or to people that like our olive oil. But we couldn't, uh, we finish all the bottle before the new production. Always. So it's not enough. <laughs> yes. In the press code, because they maintain all the um, original taste. Mm -hmm. And we do not filtrate the olive oil. So also the nutrients remain in the, in the surface. It's like everything is organic, but it's easy to be organic here. Looking. Yes, no. because La, um, Lucia planted this uh, vineyard like 20 years ago or less, yeah. But um, so this is new. That's still young. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because they took five years to become. I, I'm going to tell you the story about this vineyard because it's, it's quite particular. But the big part, the oldest part, is in going to Ashano in this direction. After two minutes, there is a gate and there is a big part there. So it's uh -huh. part of the property, not here, but it's there. Uh -huh. No, no, otherwise it's not enough. <laughs> well, I thought, this, yeah. There's nothing there. No, yes. <laughs> this is only one variety. Uh -huh. And the other, the Sangiovese, the Merlot, and the white grapes are all there. This is just the new one. There are only 10 producers in the world that use the Foyaton that are old in this area because it's a grape really old that uh, it's, um, uh, was born here um, two or three centuries ago <laughs> because uh, foglia tonda, that is the name of the grape, means in Italian a uh, round leaf. It's a really big and rounded leaf. So there is a lot of work of cutting, cutting all year long. So it's in the past, uh, the farmer said, come on, it's too difficult, too delicate. Good, very good, but too delicate. 25 very robust and tannin and the acidity is very high that it's a good thing because the um, all the producer that use the foyatonda are in the municipality of Siena in the area of Siena all yeah. here wild boar that entered in the gate I, we don't know why probably there is some hole in the fence right. and they find and they find the um, uh, uh, the grapes really uh, low oh, so they yeah. kept like yeah. uh, water, yeah. <laughs> like water, not for them. So it's uh, yeah. right. it's quite, but you know, it's normal uh, for everybody right. in the yeah. area. Yeah. So it's very. That's why wild boars on everybody's menu. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was the, the hunter and the hunting. Yes. Of them. <laughs> the way, uh, this wine. This is the white that we produce. It's. Okay. Um, uh, in the in the old vineyard that we have, uh, that it's 45 years. So this is the one with the grape, the special grape. Oh, okay. Um, as I told you, we are in the Chianti area here. That but is wonderful. That yeah, is this good. Uh, yes. the this cherry. It's more like uh, mm -hmm. raspberries. It's easy to drink. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a short, uh, persistent in the mouth. So yeah. It's someone that you can. As I told the drink with the easy meal. Yeah, no, not so. Mm. It's all. Hello, hello. How are you? Oh, you're very nice. Oh, you're very nice, aren't you? So you have the Riserva Chianti in in the glass now. All the time that you find that Riserva written in the label. Each wine has a reserve edition. Brunello has a reserve edition, Nobile, uh, Barolo, all the wine. Reserva means that the wine age longer in the barrel, usually in the wood barrel, and can age longer at all. So it's more important. Wine I haven't liked. No, actually. Ah! No. <laughs> And so this one is uh, it's uh, a wine that we produce, as I told you, all in the past here. Uh, we do the harvest for this wine that is 100% Sangiovese grape oh. before all the other wine, like Brunello, yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Yeah. This is wonderful. Yeah. This is, yes. And we um, uh, pick the grapes for this wine before, so we select all the best grape for this wine, and then we continue for the others. This yeah. would be a special occasion wine mm -hmm. for yeah. us. Yeah, but you know what? I used to work for many years in Montalcino, in another winery, and the, the old lady, that, you don't have to open the bottle on a special occasion. It's the wine that makes the occasion special. Yeah. We so appreciate it. Oh, that thank you so much. Oh, oh thank you so much. But it's a pleasure for us. We just really This is our pizza from Osteria Labotti in Lucignano. Oh, wow, that is thin. Holy Six cow. Six dollars. Six dollars. Six euros, yeah. And then here's mine. Which is cold I now, get, but. Oh man. And mine, I have sausage and peppers. Mm -hmm. And you have just cheese, the margarita. margarita. Okay. Salt oh my goodness. That I brought from Venice? Yeah, from Venice, I think, yeah. And Sorry. then we <laughs> stopped at a grocery store in Lucignano and got a, how much? Four euro bottle of wine? Mm -hmm. I don't know. our luggage in the Fiat 500. It fits. 